currently I use the component G Calendar on my website. To use G Calendar, it's simply this is the calendars. You click on calendars, you click delete, and you go back to calendars. You click new. You click import. You go back to this. You click login. And you have the calendar added to your website. And to see how this looks like on your website, you can see the, the calendar. Be there. Normally, it should show up. Just like on my website, here I did work and it shows the upcoming events. If it doesn't work, like with the offline version, you have to get a new version of Key Calendar and install it on your website. After that, it should download your upcoming events. To do that, I'm going to go to Key Calendar and I, I will go to this website, DP Calendar. This is the new G Calendar. I made a new extension called DP Calendar. I'm now going to install. I'm going to uninstall the old extension, G Calendar. Key calendar. There we go. Check all this is all the key calendar stuff. I'm going to install it. Now it's been installing. Now we're going back to extensions, extension manager, click on upload the package and click choose file. And I will have to check where the file is. I'm going to go back to C, users, downloads. And I'm going to look for this file, DP Calendar. Here's the DP Calendar. I click Open. I click Upload and Install. Now it's added. Now we get components. We have DP Calendar here. Components, DP Calendar, events. Let me have it not working. I click DP Calendar again. Upload and install. <laughs> I'm 
Now we go back to GP Calendar. GP Calendar, component not found. Now we go to see GP Calendar. Component not found. If I can do something else, DP calendar, permanent extension to extension manager, manage DP calendar. I'm going to select this and then we go to back to enable. I'm going to try if I can get it to work now. It might be because it's a WAMP installation and might give any problems. I don't know if that's the case. DP calendar. Component not found. Now we're going to check DP Calendar and RIMP. This is not working, so I'm going to check if I have a G-Calendar version still that works with the site component extension manager. Extension manager. Emulate package file. Choose file. Go back to the Joomla part here. And there we go. And there we go. We have the church for G-Calendar. It's block calendar. This is the latest version of key calendar. So that's that was the version prior to a DP calendar. You want to click upload and install. Go to install G Calendar again. Then we go to see where the G Calendar is. Go to import the calendar. Go 
Clic Login. Then we're going to check if it's, if it's working now. show my calendar anymore. And I have to go to extensions module manager. Or say check calendar. And you want to check all. And you want to check publish. And now I'm going back to my online site, black and white, the administrator. Components, extend and smaller manager, key calendar, check black and white. I mentioned that it was an upcoming event. <coughs> upcoming event. Now we have to go to this one. <coughs> upcoming event. That's uh, where it is, so it's called Key Calendar Upcoming. Now we have to go back to this Key Calendar. And it's upcoming on so my website. I want it on select only, public, and the position top A. And what I'm going to do like this. This is the select only select position. I want to search for you streamline. That is my template. This is top A. And there we go. And then we go to menu assignment. Only on the page is selected. I'm going to use it at the home position, like this. And I click save and close. And then I'm going to look if it's display um, in here. No event found. That's not so good. Then we go back to the file G calendar. Alright. Upcoming events upcoming. And we go to upcoming events. Click save and close. Now I'm going to select components key calendar. Calendars. No calendars here. 
Dan wil ik een importerkalender. Nou, ik wil back to login. Dan wil ik de klik op add. En dan er is one calendar edit. En we klikken home. En we moeten de vaste page nou. En nu hebben we een nieuw event coming. Met een this is not updated today. Dus je calendar name is still there. So we have to change something, I guess. Right. Let's save. And then I'm coming. Go go host back all right. It's still there. Let's see if I can change the text to Keegan and the extensions. Module manager. Upcoming Keegan and the upcoming. And we're going to change it to, to Upcoming events. Upcoming events. Click on save. We're going to go to home. Now we have upcoming events. It's working offline and online. I will add the uh, the link to the older version. This is DP Calendar, but I will add the version that I have used in this tutorial to my tutorial. So you will find the download link in my tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I hope you will be back to view a new tutorial next time.